Thank you. Um, Mr Mayor, you need um, Transport for London's income to cover the total cost of its operations as the general government grant is phased out. And your business plan is based on an 11% increase in bus ridership and a 20% increase in bus fares income, taking you up to 2022. Now, um, in an earlier meeting, Mike Brown, the TfL Commissioner, has acknowledged that the TfL budget is at risk if you can't hit that target. So as we know, buses have been getting slower as London gets more congested and Londoners have been abandoning them. We've seen a 5% year-on-year drop. So my question, is your target for an 11% rise in bus ridership realistic when in your bus business plan you expect the number of car trips to remain the same over five years and you're also planning a big push on healthy streets projects which is going to rightly mean there's going to be some reallocation of road space so how are buses going to be made more appealing for fair pairs that's, that's, that's a long question let me try to give a short answer so so you're right that um, the numbers of uh, people using buses is less than we uh, than tfl predicted but it's still going up we want it to go up more uh, and it's really important that we do so Hopper fares led to a new, a new generation of people using buses that weren't before. You're right though, one of the reasons why people don't like using buses is that with no certainty they'll reach from A to B within the time they want to do. The, the lack of being able to predict your journey is a problem. So we've published a road reliability plan in November. That, that started the process in, rela in relation to making a, a roads more reliable. The transport strategy is looking at everything. Nothing is off the table. And I welcome the report from the Assembly last week, I think, in relation to some blue skies thinking, but also some short to medium term work that can take place to make our roads more uh, reliable. The Elizabeth Line opening gives us opportunities because uh, that will mean the cross road going through London means with an increase in 10% of public transport capacity, that could free up buses from Oxford Street, that part of London, to outer London. Mm -hmm. We've got to make those more reliable. So we're having these conversations with colleagues. From 2018, I mean local authorities and, and others, utility companies, from 2018 we hope to introduce the unlimited one hour travel on buses. That will get people into the practice of using buses which is uh, really important. And the final thing I say, because I need to ask more questions is, we will now have quarterly performance uh, reports, uh, uh, which is an innovation, which I think came from a recommendation made by assembly members. That will mean that we can monitor progress being made, but also to reassure you, the TfL board, the new TfL board, understand the importance of more people using buses and they will hold, and I say this in a friendly way, senior management, TfL staff's feet to the fire in a constructive way over the course of the next period. Okay, thank you. Um, nothing off the table, that sounds very hopeful. Um, uh, TfL recently uh, wrote to me saying they're taking steps to ensure black taxis can access 60 additional bus lanes, that's 20 on TfL roads and 40 um, bus lanes on borough roads. Now, won't that make the buses even slower and less appealing? So why is TfL pursuing that policy? Can I just reassure you, listen, the reason why buses are going slow is because of black taxis. The, the, the reality is, for, for historical reasons, uh, there has been this quirk where some bus lanes can't be used by black taxis uh, uh, and, and some can uh, and it's an anomaly we're seeking to uh, address but you know you compare and contrast 22,000 black taxis versus 110,000 now minicabs I, I've got no powers to cap the numbers of uh, uh, minicabs uh, and, uh, and so there is an issue in relation to private hire vehicles which I'm happy to discuss with you yep. but there is no evidence at all that the reason for uh, buses travelling not as fast as we'd like them to travel is because of black taxis. I, I mean, I, th I think we probably need to look, look into that. I completely agree that private hire vehicles are much, much more of a much, much more of an issue. But I do think that, you know, if you, within your plan, you are going to have to make some hard choices at times. And obviously, prioritising the buses absolutely is um, uh, over pleasing everyone is, is, is going to be one of those. Just taking us on to congestion charging, it's a very blunt instrument and it's clearly not working well enough at the moment. Um, now you mentioned nothing was off the table. Um, smart road pricing is one way that you can cut the number of cars on the roads, in turn making the buses more appealing to fare payers and ultimately helping your five year plan to add up. So will you commission this study and published some results. Well, look, you, you all have heard the very warm words from my deputy mayor last week in relation to uh, this issue. We're currently working on a transport strategy 
And, I, and I'd say to you, I say this to colleagues all the time, honestly, Val is the most approachable person in the world, so please feel free to lobby uh, my Deputy Mayor morning, in relation I to, I, know, I thought you were, <laughs> in relation to this issue, because, you, Jay, look, the ends we want is the same. Uh, how we get there, we can discuss and debate. Thank you. Thank you.